Welcome back to Let's Play Sphinx and the Cursed Mummy. I'm Burning Dog Face. And we've caught up with Prince Tut, who is technically no longer uh, dead, but not by much. You know, I thought I had issues with all my computer problems and money woes and such. Hmm. I've been kind of a problem lately with uh, my writing. But hey, at least I'm not fucking dead. At least I wasn't transformed into a zombie. So, uh, come here often. We're just gonna hang out here for a while. It has nothing to do with the fact that I can't seem to open this stupid lozenge. There you go. Oh. Is there anything legible on this, uh, wrapper? Impress yourself today. Well. I've got something to prove. Let's give it a shot. I don't like the way that the frame rate keeps dipping to just below 60. That bothers me. I do believe that the rig is mad at me. I tried to get started just earlier and, uh,. Well, the program I use to record, the Shadow Play uh, program that comes with uh, the NVIDIA GeForce experiences, wouldn't start. Steadfastly refused to go. I thought this might be because uh, of a Windows update that fucked up that would just uh, run forever. So I hard reset the computer after I hit restart. Oh, down to 40 that time. And, uh... It just hung there for five minutes. You know, shut down and, uh... Update. It's like the most optimal conditions. It doesn't have to put up with any of the other bullshit you put your computer through. And here it is. Not finishing for five solid minutes. Even though it's just another... Oops. I do believe this is what I thought it was, leaping from thing to thing. Huh. I don't think I can stand on this. Oh. Well, that was convenient. Whoa. Whoa! Calm the fuck down, friend. Be sure that all the traps are working. I want no doubt in my mind that the castle is impenetrable. The Abydosian jewels must be protected. If so much as a rat tries to enter the castle, pulverize it. Of course, Master. Just gonna throw this out there. It's weird that the semi-undead goons have, uh the Ankh symbol on their backs. Now that's a problem, since I don't have any weapons. Well, he does blink, so there goes plan A, which was to win a staring contest against them. My goodness, there are a lot of these guys. What if I just do this? No, no, you can turn around. Fine. Alright, let's check out these obvious buttons on the ground. I 
I mean, that's great and all, but then I step off and he sees me again. Hmm. Alright, we have some weird puzzle bullshit going on. Which, if you're new to my channel, is a term I swear I use effectively. I wonder if they took out my stomach, liver, lungs, and intestines, too. Well, no, I guess not, since the canopic jars contain my soul, not my organs. I sure hope they kept the brain, though. I'm gonna need that. <laughs> so yeah, I'm a bit salty today. What if I just put my hands around your slender little neck, and I strangle you to death? Uh, how does that sound? Just walk up, press X to strangle. Alright, this... I don't even see what I'm supposed to be doing. Because I'm pretty sure that as soon as I, yep, go around the corner, he will see me. Okay. So, so you're gonna find like a box or something to put on that. Is there anything like, no, I can't seem to be able to get around him by going up. Hmm. I do kind of wish this was a, uh... I guess the buttons are just to reset the things, because it seems like the doors don't reopen just when I walk away. My kingdom for a cardboard box. Oh, hey, I have a kingdom! Hmm. Well, not anymore, but you know. Usually when I use that saying, you know, my kingdom for an X, I am not actually royalty at the time. Oh, I like the little tuft of hair sticking at the top. Actually, wait, I think that's just bandages. I'm just trying to turn it so that it's a closer angle. Oh my god, this camera. Yeah, it looks like that's just where they tied off the bandages. I don't think that's how that works. What am I missing? There's... Yeah, there's no way I'm getting through here. This one is really well covered. But, uh... I like, no, can't move that. Huh? I would have thought I would be especially vulnerable to that. I kind of thought I would just die instantly. What's going on with that? Alright, something's up with that. What's up here? Nothing. Great. It's just a confluence of shit, basically. This is the day I wanted to make extra videos to adjust my schedule. And then I made my poor compi mad at me by a uh, hard resetting in the middle of an update. Which didn't, by the way, destroy the universe. Much to my surprise, I kinda thought it would just ruin everything for the day. That's one update I'm not going to be reattempting until I'm done with all this nonsense. Yeah, I'm just getting nowhere. This has got to be a stealth thing, then. Fine. Okay, uh, just the one guy. Where's the button that opens those doors? Is it this one? Yes, yes it is. Let's try that. Oh, for fuck's sake, you can grab those stupid pointy things, you can't grab the edge. Like, does it actually matter which way he's facing? 
What if I go by now? Oh, look at that. It really does matter which way he's facing. I honestly thought it wouldn't. Rock you like a loading screen! I don't like that it's not moving anymore. Oh, there it goes. Not ruined. We're good. You know, I was actually thinking about this game just yesterday. I... These look like those frames that burn. I need to set myself on fire and then run into them. Oh my god. This looks like some kind of electrical device. Well, I'm not water-soluble, that's nice. Yeah, that, actually, the symbol of the scarabs. Uh... I was thinking... You know, I need to get my hands on some dollary dues, you know, get a nice new rig for my compi. If for no other reason than to avoid the fucking resetting issue and hopefully do away with the, uh... What do we got here? Moon. Saturn. Chaos. Okay, um... I hopefully do away with the... The, the seam issue that I had just inserted a jump cut to avoid. Um... <laughs> I was sort of thinking, sort of wistfully, how much easier that would be if we used fucking beetles as money, because then you could just breed the beetles. Think about that. You could make more money than you ever could at a job by farming scarabs in your basement. What do you say? I'm gonna stop complaining about my personal problems now, and... Huh. That was a trap. Am I, am I in control? Don't worry, my friend. You are just as dead as me. Electricity can't harm you. In fact, you should try to use it to your advantage. However, if you want to avoid the electricity in the future, I can help. Just press X and you are close to me. Oh, that didn't work. Righto. So actually, where is it? Uh... Oh no, it's that thing. That's all right. I was looking for another one of these. Oh. I'm not okay. All right. Come on. Hit me. I'm rubbing my face against you. Go ahead and... That's a problem. That's like more of a problem than the frame rate, really. On your marks! Get set! Go! No, I cannot make that jump. Can I push it? Oh, I can push it. It's a ha! I can't move it sideways, though. Maybe it's just because I'm grumpy, but I don't like that you can only move those things forward and backward. 
given that, you know... I feel like there were bits in frickin' Ocarina of Time in 98 that let you, you know, move things left and right in addition to forward and backwards. I'm not pushing a button or anything, I just have to wait for it to discharge. Hello. You found the first stolen Abydos jewel. Nuts. Well, now where the fuck I am? I, I actually say where the fuck I am. Great. What I really want to know, ow, is if I can open those, uh, those, these, with the electricity. I hear flames when I put the camera here. Are you fire? I guess you're... you might be fire. Oh, it's those stupid little lanterns there, I see. Oh. Nope, doesn't work on that. It's fine. Alright, let's see where this brings me. I'm up here now. The audio really doesn't line up with that uh, visual, does it? That's not like lag or anything. I mean, there's a chest down there. Down I go. My leg. Oh dear. Well, now I'm back out here. That doesn't help. No, I don't really... Hmm, I don't see how that one's supposed to work. Alright, let's try not falling down this time. I wonder if it hurts when he gets shocked. And flattened and all that stuff. As you know, Deadpool immortality isn't much of immortality at all. <laughs> if you're gonna get all that suffering in. Get myself on fire with that. A strange thing for me to say and under any other circumstances. I would say this feels like a trap, but hey, screw it, I'm dead. Oh dear. Deary, deary, dear. How about the fucking Mario stomp you? Nope. And now I can't get back up. Shit. Huh. Oops. Where am I actually meant to be going? I'm assuming... Here, here... 
I'm gonna guess by this symbol that something happens if I charge this thing up. Hit me! Ooh! That's how you feel alive! Called it! Come on! Booyah! I did a thing! Surely that should also shock me, I'm just saying. Ooh, that looks refreshing. Oh, but there's the timer. <sighs> well, you know, one down. Let's see if I can get back up without that guy. No, he doesn't care. My atrophied organs and dusty bones. Well, I guess I'll find out what happens when I run up this side in the next episode of Let's Play Sphinx and the Cursed Mummy. I'm Burning Dog Face. And I will see you then. He doesn't like to look at the camera either. Later!